to my channel and here we are going to work on the sectional uh, view of this uh, building drawing and as we are asked to draw the sectional view uh, uh, for the cutting plane PB. So the cutting plane goes in this direction so it goes like this an offset uh, sectional view and before we go on to do anything on the construction of the sectional view we need to know the number of uh, walls that the cutting plane cut and also the components within the wall that the cutting plane cut. So looking at this, so it cut this wall, this is one, then it cut this wall and within this wall we have a door, so we take note of that. Then coming here it cut uh, this wall here, it cut this wall and there is a, uh, there is a beam within this wall, so we need to take note of that. Then it cut this wall here, so there is a wall here, then it cut this wall and there is a window within this wall that is quite cut. So that is the first thing that we need to take note of. Then another thing that we have here is that what do we see when we take this part off? So when we remove this part and what do we see around here? So when uh, this part is removed, so we are going to see uh, this uh, door. So we are going to see this door for this part. You see this door here. Then coming here, so we are going to see this uh, this window. So we see this window here. So we are going to see this window. Then, um, okay, so this window here. Okay, we can't see this window. So we can't see this window. Then uh, for this part, we are going to see this door. So we see this door, we see this door. Then we see, uh, okay, this is the window that we see. So we can't see this window because this door and this door will prevent us from seeing this. So we are going to see this window here. I'm going to see this window. Okay, so those are the things that we have uh, that we are going to put in the sectional view apart from the walls and the components within the wall. So let's start and see how the construction will go. All right, the first thing that we are going to do is to draw the uh, the uh, ground level line. Very, very important to draw the ground level line as horizontal line like this. Okay, um, so this line is not really showing. Okay. Alright, so we draw the ground level line and then we are going to uh, indicate it here. So I'll just write GL here. So very, very important that you write this uh, GL. So write GL here for your ground level line. Then after that, so we take our set square and we first of all uh, draw a vertical line. So we draw a vertical line here. So the scale that we are given that we are using is 1 ratio 100. That means we are dividing each dimension by 100. We are dividing each dimension by 100. So let's start and so we have this line that we drew here is for this wall. It's for this first wall here. We are starting from the left to the right side. So the next wall that we have here is this wall and then this time from here to here is uh, 3600. That means we have 36. So if you divide 3600 by 100, we have 36. So we are going to take a measurement of 36 millimeters from here so we take 36 millimeters so this is um 36 millimeters here this is 36 millimeters so and then so we draw a vertical line here so here we draw a vertical line so like this okay then the next one so the next one that we are going to uh look at so the next uh wall that it cut so coming like this so it cut this wall here it cut this wall, it cut this wall here, and this wall that it cut here, this wall that it cut here, so we have what we have, um, so distance from this wall to this wall is, uh, we have 2,100, 1,100, that would be 4,200, 4,200 by 100 will give us 42, so we take a measurement of 42 millimeters, so this is 42 millimeters, and we draw a vertical line, we draw a vertical there's something that I see in the drawing that we need to put there, so let me show you that, so by the time we remove uh, this part, we are going to see the edge of this wall, we are going to see the edge of this wall, so we need to place it here, so the edge of that wall uh, is going to be 21, so we take a measurement of 21 from here, so 21 from here, so this is 21 uh, millimeters, this is 21 millimeters, so we just draw a vertical line here 
So here we draw a vertical line. Alright, so then uh, let's leave that for now. So the next one that we have is uh, we have drawn for this wall, then we move to this wall. So distance from here to here, uh, according to my calculation that I did, we have what we have 3600. So to remove uh, 2700 from 3600, so that's going to give us what we have this to be. Um, that will be uh, 9, so that will be 900, so that will be, um, yeah, so that will be 900, so that is 9 millimeters, so we take a measurement of 9 millimeters, so 9 millimeters from here, so this is 9 millimeters here, so here we have 9 millimeters, so like this, so we draw a vertical line for this, Okay, so then the next wall that we have here is this wall, and this wall from this one, uh, where we took that line is 2,700. That means we are taking a measurement of 27 millimeters. 27 millimeters. So 27 millimeters. So we have it here. So this is 27 millimeters. So here we draw a vertical line. So we draw a vertical line here. So uh, we have positioned all the Wall. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we go to for the foundation. So we go for the foundation. So we go to the given specification according to the specification that we have here. So for foundation, we have uh, foundation is 675 by 225 concrete strip foundation at a depth of 900 from the ground level. So 900 from the ground level. 900 from the ground level. So that means we are dividing 900 by what? By 100. And that will give us 9 millimeters. So we take the measurement of 9 millimeters down here. So this is 9 millimeters, and we draw horizontal line. So we draw horizontal line. So we have this horizontal line. So like this. And then before we go on working on that, let's get the thickness of the wall. Thickness of the wall. Uh, that is what well. that's going to be. That's going to be 2 uh, millimeters because we are given. Um, 225 with 12 motor engine on both sides so that means we have what we have 270 237 then 237 by uh, by 100 that will give us well, that will give us 2.37 so that is 2 millimeters so just take 2 millimeters from here so this is an external one take 2 millimeters in and then for this one we can take this one to either of the two sides either of the two sides so i can we take it to this side so we have what we have it here then so um so this is another wall that we have here so i will take this one i will take two millimeters to this side then uh for this one i will take two millimeters to this side okay then for this one i will take two millimeters to this side so we need to draw a vertical line on each of this point so here we draw this line is not straight all right so i need to correct that so this is so we draw this as a vertical line okay so also this one so we take draw it as a vertical line so uh, it is small like this because of the scale that we are using so we draw a vertical line here and here we also uh, draw so here we also draw a vertical line okay then coming here we draw a vertical line so we have five walls that we need to put our foundation under the one two three four five so those are the five walls that we are going to put foundation on them so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to uh, the width of the foundation will be uh, if we divide um, so two, 225 by 100 that will give us 2.25 2.25 so let's take it as 3 millimeters so we take it as 3 millimeters this is 3 millimeters here and uh, we are going to draw horizontal line so we draw horizontal line okay so we draw horizontal line so like this then if we divide um so 675 by 675 
by 100 that will give us 6.75 and that means we are going to 7 so let's make it 8 so we have already taken 2 so that means we are going to take 3 millimeters so 3 millimeters to the left side and we have 3 millimeters from here to the right side okay then here we also do the same thing so 3 millimeters from this point to the left side and again 3 millimeters to the right side then here we do the same so 3 millimeters to the so to the left side and 3 millimeters to the right side then we do the same thing here so 3 millimeters to the left side and 3 millimeters to the right side then here also so we have 3 millimeters to the left side and 3 millimeters to the right side all right so we have all this so then we are going to so produce the so foundation so here we have so we draw the, this as vertical line So then, so we are going to uh, take in this. Then we uh, put the gravel, so stone. Then, so we got it. Alright, so we have worked on the foundation. Alright, so we have done. We are done with foundation footing. Now let's go for the uh, component of the floor. So we have 300 hard core, 150 thick uh, concrete slab, and 25 uh, cement screed. So, um, so what we are going to do now is that um, so uh, this is the uh, the ground floor. So I'm going to set the um, the I'm going to set the hard core. So the hard core I want to put it under the ground level. The hard core I want to be under the ground level. So that's what I want to do. So for 300 by 300 by 100, we give us three millimeters. So I just take three millimeters down here and don't forget that the hard core will not pass through the wall it will not pass through the wall so this is three millimeter so i'm going to draw horizontal line so i will draw horizontal line so from here okay then i draw this so this goes so it will not pass through the wall okay so we have this so and then so for the concrete slab so the concrete slab will pass through the wall so i'm going to make this line a thick line i want to place the concrete slab over the hard core so this line will be a thick line this one will be a thick line okay so uh, the walls this part of the wall they are built over the concrete slab so let's take note of that so now uh, for the hard core so i'm going to just put what we are going to so this is how so it will look okay so then so you may decide not to fill all all so there's no problem
all right so that is the hard core now concrete slab so as we have in the specifications that the concrete slab uh, the thickness of the concrete slab is uh, 150 so 150 uh, by 100 that will give us 1.5 so I just make it uh, make it 2 millimeters so I will take a measurement of 2 millimeters above so this line above, above the ground level and I will draw horizontal line so I will draw horizontal line so like this so this line should be made a thick line and also so the wall, the walls are built are built over the concrete slab. So let's take note of that. So we show the sign of uh, of stone. So within the concrete slab. Okay. Then we dot it. So this stands for sand within the components, within the mixture. All right, so that is the concrete slab. Now, so we have a uh, mortar screed or cement screed, so 25 millimeters thick. So that will give us uh, zero point. So that's going to give us a uh, zero point something. So I just make it a uh, one millimeter. So one millimeter. So this main screed will not pass through the wall. So just take, uh, maybe I should just make it 1.5 so that we can see it. So, um, so we have this main screed. So it's over this. So it's, so we draw it like this. And then, okay. So don't forget that this line that we have here is an edge of a wall. Okay, so I've shown it. Okay, so this is the floor level. Okay, so that's my screen. So then um, we need to put the heads. We need to put the heads. So that is the symbol. So for the sand that are under the uh, so the sand under the hard core. All right, so. That's it. So we are done with the floor. Now we go to the uh, roof. We go to the roof. So for the roof, um, we need the floor to ceiling height, which is not given. And uh, what I used when I constructed the front elevation is 3,100. So uh, if we divide 3,100 by 100 because of the scale that we are given, we are asked to use the scale of 1 ratio 100. So we divide 3,100 by 100 and give us that will give us 31 so which means that from the floor level so from the floor level here we take a measurement of 31 millimeters this is 31 millimeters and i'm going to draw horizontal line so i'm going to draw horizontal line so we'll draw horizontal line uh, from here so we draw horizontal line from here so like this all right then we are to draw the um we are to draw um so we produce uh we are to draw this within this part so we draw the warp plate within this part so this is two millimeters so we take it as two millimeters here so we draw uh, this So the work place is supposed to be down here, sorry. So we take two millimeters down, two millimeters down, and we draw. Um, so we make this. A, so I'm supposed to make it a thick line. Okay, so I will also make this a thick line. So this one that we have here, so it's going to be 
uh, the rafter, sorry, the tie beam, so it will be a tie beam. So we draw this, okay? So this is going to be a tie beam. So here now we have what we have the wall plate, okay? So the tie beam is resting on the wall plate, and we took two millimeters for that, okay? So the scale that we are using makes this work, uh, the drawing to be small. So this is the symbol for work plate. Okay, so we also do the same thing here. Alright, so that is the work plate. So we have the tie beam over this. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to uh, get the east projection. So the east projection is uh, we are given 600 600 by uh, 600 by by 100 so gives us um gives us six millimeters but before that so let's get uh well let's draw that of the um let's draw uh, a ceiling joist so we draw ceiling joist for ceiling joist so i will just uh I'll take like um so let me take like um, so five millimeters down so five millimeters down here so this is five millimeters so here I will draw horizontal line so draw horizontal line here like this okay then I will extend it I will extend it because it goes together with the east projection so for east projection so we take six millimeters so this is six millimeters here so this is six millimeters okay so we have six millimeters and i also take six millimeters here so this is six millimeters so here i'm going to uh, draw a vertical line up to this point and also take it up to this point so don't forget that the type of roof that we are given is hipped roof that is the type of roof that we are given so it has to to slant at the front and also slant at the other side at the back and uh, the four sides so we have uh, the four sides of the or the four faces of the roof they are slanting so let's take note of that so next thing that i'm going to do is that so the pitch angle given is um the pitch angle given is 32 degrees so i'll just set my protractor at this point i set my protractor at this point then i'm going to take a measurement of 32 degree 32 degree so setting it at this point here on the tie beam so I will take a measurement of 32 degree okay so this is 30 this is 32 degree okay also here I will do the same thing so placing it at this point on the tie beam I will take a measurement of 32 degrees so this is 32 degree okay so then from here so I'm going to uh, join so this point so together with this okay then I will also join this point so together with this All right, so then, so I'm going to make this a straight line. So this is how I want to produce my own hip roof. So, all right, so we have what we have this. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is that we need to get the uh, the rafter. So we have the rafter. So I'm going to draw a vertical line. A vertical line. So through this point a bit like this. And the vertical line through this point a little bit okay so then so a vertical line through this point and through this point here a vertical line all right then i'm going to so take um so two millimeters up here and two millimeters from here up then i'm connecting so this together 
there so here also I will take two millimeters up here and two millimeters here so here I will connect so this together then I will draw this so join this together like this all right so we have that so then um so another thing that we have here is facial board so i just draw this down and here also i will draw this down okay so that is a facial board there so other things that i'm going to put here so we have what we have the um so we have the uh, the um king post so we have king post so i will draw one here so like this and here i will draw this so i send to so okay so then here i will draw this i'm not really taking measurement of that also i will come here and draw a vertical line here it's a vertical line here I'm coming to this point here so here i will draw a vertical line there is also a vertical line like this then the struts so the struts so I can just uh, so connect these points together so this is just my own way of producing hip to roof okay all right so then so I will also so draw from here and then okay so then so I may decide to Okay, just let me leave it like this. So, draw a vertical line here. So, make this a thick line. And we also make this a thick line. So, let me pause the video and take in that part. So, then we, so we need to make this line a thick line. So, from here to here. And also, we make this a thick line like this and then so i need to do something here so for the uh ceiling joist so i need to come up a little bit like this and then so i will draw this line all right so then we also make this a thick line. Okay, so then so for the ceiling joist, so we just draw. So I just put two here. So just draw it like this. Then. Here I will put just three. So put one here. And I put one here. Okay, so then so we also put alright, so that's okay for me. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to do here is that um so for this uh, part of the building or the foundation so we need to make this line so it's a line all right so we show that so this is a wall by drawing this line
So this is a one. Okay, so then other things that we have here. Um, so this is a complete work. So there is nothing that is cut by the cutting plane within this wall. So we need to make it a thick wall. Not true. So then, so we show that this is a wall by drawing this line. Alright, so that's it. So then, um, so within this wall, there's a component. We have a door within this wall that was cut. So that was cut. So um, the height of the door is 2100, so that will be 21 millimeters. So we take a measurement of 21 millimeters up. This is 21, and above that 21, so we have a lintel. We have a lintel up here, so we have a lintel here. So that lintel, so it's going to be so you just take two millimeters up, okay? So here we so we draw this. Then, so we, so this is the lintel, so this is the lintel then, so we need to make this line, so a thick line, so we also make this line a thick line, then, so we, we draw the door, so the door, this is how it will look, within this wall, so this is the door, so we have it within this wall, so that's it, so other things that we have here, uh, it cut a window around here. So it cut a window. The cutting plane cut a window around here. So we also need to produce a lintel. So we also need to produce a lintel on this one. So. Okay. So for that window. So that window that we have here. So it is what it is W2. So which is 600. So that will be 6 millimeters. So we take a measurement of six millimeters down. So this is six millimeters, and then so we so we draw this. So make this line. So we're going to make this line a thick line. And we also make this line a thick line. Okay. So then we draw the window. So this is it. These are to look. So within this, then. Okay, so for this one, all right, so we have that, so then, um, so for this wall that we have here, so this is just a wall, so this one is just a wall, there's no component within it, there's no component within, so this wall, so we just make this, so show that this is a wall all right so then uh, for this one here so as i said that uh, this one is just an edge of a wall so we make it a thick line it's an edge of a wall so we have to make it a thick line then um so let me see this one okay so for this uh one that we have here so there is a beam within this one there is a beam so within this so if we check the specification so I don't have any, have any information about the beam so I just assume that is a little bit above the above the, the, the lintel so I assume that is a bit above the lintel so then so for this wall so it's only the lintel that we are going to produce so it will be um to be just a, a plain surface so i will put the beam up here so i put the beam up here so this is the beam all right so we have the beam there so then uh the door that i said we are going to see so around here so we are going to see uh so we are going to see this door here so i'm going to see this door so which is d3 so d3 so um so d3 so we have to draw this horizontal line so this is the top edge of the door so for this one so we have to bring it here so it is 
that door is around here. <coughs> so that door is, is here. So we have it here. Okay. Like this. Okay, so then, so we, from the specifications, so we have that it is uh, 900. So it is 9 millimeters. So that is the width. So 9 millimeters, the width is 9 millimeters. So from here to here. So this is 9 millimeters. So we draw this line. Okay, so we also draw this line. Then, so we draw the frame on it. Okay, so the type of door that we have there, I think they said it was, it's a metal door. It's a metal door. So it's a metal door. So uh, we just design it this way so design it this way okay so i'm going to so break this Alright, so then, so we make this a thick line. Alright, so I've produced other doors that we have here. There's a door here and there is a door here as we have in the plan uh, based on what I showed you. But we also have a window around here that we are going to see. So for the window, so let's produce the window uh, windows together. So, um, so here we are going to draw. The, we are going to draw the windows. So we are going to draw the windows as we have. Um, so I'll leave a little space here. Okay, so then, so we have it to be 12 by 12. So this is 12 millimeters here. So we draw this as a vertical line and then So I'm going to, so this is just the design that I want to put here, though that's not what I put in the front elevation, but we can also make it like the, just your own decision. So you are not going to be penalized by it, by the kind of uh, design that you make, you make. So let's take note of that. All right, so as we, we are told that is a sliding uh, window so we show that so with the arrow here so that is a sliding window so we have that so and then I need to so this time for the frame so this is uh, the window so um, so this is the uh, complete uh, sectional view as we have here all right so this is the uh, section on plane BB as we have is as simple as I've done it here all you need to do is to practice and when you practice it become a master at it thank you and keep on practicing God bless you